So today what we're going to do is we're going to use a gate valve. We're starting to use gate valves as compared to three-way valves because a gate valve is easier to maintain and operate. Um, it's pretty pretty straightforward. It's either, it's either closed or open. So when it's open, it's, the water is going back into the sewer system. When it's closed, it just it's, the water is going out to the gray water system. But also the gate valve acts as a a check valve so any of the sewer waters can't come back up into this unit as well as that this particular one has a special seal on it so it's going to prevent any type of sewage gases and everything else from leaking up into the area as well um, they're also very repairable meaning that in time probably about 10 years down the road is that they can actually remove these screws and this gate valve will slide out and they can put a, a new gate valve in in case it gets corroded or some other issue starts to rise. There's a washer in there too, so that washer starts to, to go away. Um, the three-way valve is a, more of a ball valve, and it takes takes a little more muscle to, to turn it around. They seem to get a little bit crusty at times, and they have a tendency to the handles to break occasionally. So hopefully we're going to eliminate that problem with this type of product. And it's also something easy for a DIY person to do, so that it, it's pretty straightforward. You don't have to worry about okay, what's open, what's closed. Is my handle pins the right direction? So pretty straightforward. Um, in this case, we're gonna the underneath the house. You have the shower coming down and has a long tube before it hits the trap. So that long trap. We're going to cut it and we're going to shorten it up and bring it up higher. That'll allow us to come out at a higher level for the gray water. And then the gray water will then flow out down into the yard. Most houses run with two inch. Um, this particular house had, and, but the shower starts out at one inch and a half. And in this case, that's what they did. They ran the one inch and a half into the P trap and then into the sewer system. And then it, when it gets to the sewer system, it drops into a two inch and then goes to a four inch. 